ओके फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरैक्टिव सेशन इज अ फॉलो फॉर द इनपिटल कोर्स ऑन एडवांस स्टील डिजाइन एडवांस स्टील डिजाइन कोर्स इज ऑफर्ड फॉर द थर्ड साइकिल दिस टाइम where the course content was formulated keeping in mind the industry and academic requirements with steel as a construction material the advancements in the whole content comes from two sides one it comes material use as advanced procedures for example plastic design etc it also considers use of functionally graded materials as an alternate to an alloy of steel to be considered for construction of special kinds of structures and also it talks about steel behavior at elevated temperatures like fire loads impact loads etc this course also hand helps you to handle plastic design in detail and also the design procedures which are exclusively applicable to steel structures like unsymmetric bending buckling problems lateral torsional buckling etc now when you go to application of steel for large span beams and industrial structures steel being a very comfortable and recommended material for industrial construction the design procedure remained simple all the time compared to concrete i think we all know that concrete has got lot of procedures and equations methodologies and extensive experimental studies support in support of the equations steel is always a ready made set of equations available and steel design relatively seems to be easier simpler compared to concrete design especially when you take about pre stressed concrete when you take about under over reinforced and under reinforced and balanced section of concrete working stress design doubly reinforced sections t beams flanged sections etc etra these are all you know as a lot of computational equations to be referred to for doing the design steel of course has got a very ready made procedure which can be readily used using is 800 core so keeping this in mind this course content was formulated in such a manner that advancement in steel design will be focused i was very enthusiastic to consider steel as an alternate material for industrial construction and applications many consulting industries especially lnt ecc ongc etc do practice lot of industrial structural design large span beams where steel is only possible material for construction but we look at the standard procedures and design examples discussed in textbooks and course contents they are limited to its application part when you talk about offshore structures especially ship structures in particular floating structures steel is the only non replaceable material there is no alternate but the design procedures when you use them for form dominant structures like offshore platforms they are complicated especially the connections the member design itself then the failure modes in terms of failure stresses and failure loads then plastic design procedures behavior of steel as a material under elevated temperatures then new alloying of steel to overcome corrosion problem 
these are very interesting areas where steel is seen as an advanced and only suitable material for industrial structures and construction. So this course was formulated, keeping this in mind, and possibly you will appreciate that the course contents as prescribed in advanced steel design course is possibly a unique course content which is not being conventionally taught in many universities in India as well as in abroad. And this remains as an elective course in even in postgraduate level, undergraduate level, this course has never been taught. In PG level, this remains as an elective course. Therefore, people have few choice to take this course and undertake the detailed studies on this. However, when you go to industrial practice, steel becomes a very important material and understanding steel behavior and design principles becomes inevitable. Furthermore, the complicated use of steel design using MATLAB codes for solving problems is again an aperture or a grand opening which helps learning better with MATLAB as a tool for analysis and design both for steel structures. With my experience in interaction with international colleagues in many countries like South Korea, Malaysia, Singapore, Italy, Istanbul and United Kingdom, I have developed a good know-how of use of steel for very special applications. So this all formulated the course content and NPTEL helped me to promote this course through NPTEL classes and that's how this course was given a birth. The examples, the tutorials, the lecture contents were framed in detail so that even an undergraduate student will be able to understand this, of course, with a focus to impose more know-how on the material side as steel and then the design side as a structural engineer. This course, of course, is still multidisciplinary, open to civil structural naval architecture shipbuilding, then metallurgy, mechanical, aerospace and applied mechanics, but has got larger applications with structural engineering domain. When we move on to application of steel structures in general, I'll give you a very classical example. I am presently in Italy, a place where this, the land and the city is seismically very active. I am in Naples. We have a live volcano in Vesuvius near Naples. Two days back, there was a very severe earthquake caused by the volcanic activity in Naples. You know, Rome is a very historic city constructed of masonry structures. But there were no devastating damage happened to the structures despite such intensive earthquake shaking. Of course, in Naples, being an advanced city, a lot of steel structures have come up in recent times. So there is a practical application where one can expect that learning goes along with practice and steel being a very useful and very successful material for special kind of structural systems. Even in India, talking about large airports with large span airports, large span cable state bridges, flyovers, tall buildings of 30, 40 story, steel becomes a very useful material. The design applications on these kind of structures do not fall under the conventional classroom teaching. So this course content helps people to learn advanced materials and methods as steel as a material. Further, when you go to special applications like unsymmetric bending, 
lateral torsional buckling of built up sections deep web sections crane girders crane hooks and gantry girders special industrial applications which are used for offshore structures as well as industrial structures the course content helps you to learn more on these facets of domain of knowledge of course the course content is not easy it is difficult and i enjoy developing this course content this course was initially taught to me when i was a graduate student right in delhi i still thank professor c v r murthy then in i d delhi now in i d madras to initiate learning of advanced steel design in my mind since then in 1992 is about 31 32 years back so right from that point i was thinking in mind that how this course can be formulated in a very prescribed manner so that the knowledge transfer can help people to interact and take steel as a confident material for design and analysis and applications so i tried me a little bit i also taught this course in couple of cycles offline online you would have seen the assignments are more practical oriented and also help people to learn more about this so with this mind i approached inpital coordinator professor baskar ramurthy and requested the team in pital to allow me to openly float this course and this course content was first developed and i am proud to say iit madras is the only institute which has this course content in pital now in open domain which helped in helping lot of domestic and international students and registration participants to learn steel as a design material i am also doing lot of short courses for consulting industries who take this course as a core course for training for the engineers in india as well as in abroad so that way this course is very helpful for career perspective learning perspective and very interesting and it has got a very designated set of procedures which can be easily learned so i should thank personally the inpital team for helping me in the front in the back front as well as forefront for floating this course offering every cycle of this course and keep on conducting this online without any issues and mistakes so that people can smoothly learn this course learning steel design in one semester is a difficult task unless you practice a lot of examples and in industrial applications so may appeal to all the people who have registered for this course who will be registering is take this course as a continuous exercise register for this course many number of cycles in future and keep on learning this course repeatedly and practice lot of problems both yourself and in the classrooms because you know generally when you start teaching steel design we solve only very set of classical problems in the class and only be changing the numbers and some approaches they are used in the examinations this course content is completely different friends you would have seen that this has got a violent approach of learning and making you to learn examples of a very tough order which has been also solved as well as help you to solve using matlab as a tool so i am sure that you would have enjoyed the content of the course and you will be propagating this knowledge further down to your friends and class students as well as colleagues and co researchers you will also advocate strongly to them those who have missed this particular set of classes this semester will again join online when it is reoffered again in the next cycle by npital and i sincerely thank the npital coordinator professor baskar as well as professor kamkoti the director of iit madras for helping me to broadcast and offer this course the current semester and in future as well so as our director says very commonly and very 
very often that capacity building to the best of our capacity to the common man of engineering knowledge is the great success of engineering education in india so with that motive in mind we are doing our little bit to strengthen the hands and vision also of our director professor kamakoti so that the course is being offered in a hassle free manner and we are doing our best i am not saying i am the best but i am doing our best possible to make you learn the course in a more comfortable manner we are trying to do that and we will try to continue to do that in future as well so thanks for joining there are about 12 people who have joined at this moment there are few more who will be joining online so i would like to uh, see and hear the views from the participants who have been joined online at this moment now we are on <coughs> inviting people to join online and share your views with me you can raise your hand and uh, share your views about the course content and the methodology of teaching and whatever you have felt experienced difficulties or any any uh, features you can please add them please go ahead hello sir yes mr part is good yeah yes sir uh, i attended this uh, course offline recently and uh, since this course i did not learn in my ug because there uh, the content uh, there since there was a elective course but uh, the content was totally different and uh, the name advanced steel design and the syllabus what we learned here are both matching uh, frankly and then uh, the concepts what link to uh, practical applications sir for example as i was discussing uh, before when i started my career i was assigned with consultancy works also along with uh, Uh, teaching and research so especially railway projects in india are uh, totally steel steel uh, steel structures only and they give us very short period of time to finish up the project uh, either it is design or proof check so in that case uh, doing design manually takes a lot of time and this course is helping me to use parallelly matlab codes provided when while i i was learning that is saving lot of time and understanding concept every time i can solve different problems by changing a little thing in the code and that little thing is adding to my knowledge what i am changing and uh, straight away i can say plus point about syllabus is we are dealing with fire resistant design also sir in this that is no way taught and i was not knowing what actually fire resistant design Uh, the definition i was knowing is fire only fire sir fire means something which is burning what is fire load how to calculate and what is fire load density what are hrr curves everything what uh, after uh, registering this course only i came to it was completely new to me and also stability uh, uh, is very very important every not everyone can build a stable structure everyone can build a structure but building a stable structure and uh, there are only few good structural engineers who can build both rcc structures as well as steel structures and in that very good uh, engineers are good in steel structures and if i am sure if we understand thoroughly all these concepts we can move forward as a good structural engineers whether it is offshore structure or on store structure and uh, uh, some of the concepts like deep beams curved beams are especially helpful for us uh, purely apply application basis there and also uh, shear center sir especially one concept that is shear center uh, that theoretically we will not understand it and if we apply to some of uh, some of the examples like tower crane which is used to build multi storied building so there the application why shear center is important and why that counter load counter load is given uh, to balance the load lifted by the Uh, tower crane there's all concepts you explained us very nicely in the class giving practical applications and before also i was seeing some of the experiments conducted in structural engineering lab i was seeing blindly i did not understand why it is bending like that and what is that bending called 
Uh, simply i was uh, telling it as bending before but after under after going through this course uh, i gave the specific name to you uh, that's not simply bending that is unsymmetrical bending and that is lateral torsional buckling so these are the concepts which are very i mean i i got cleared after learning this course thank you uh, for offering this course for us and i suggest my students my friends to study this uh, compulsory thank you Thank you, Mr. Patel. As he was adding to what Patel said, one unit on stability analysis, that is oil stability analysis, is a very interesting part. I have taken a lot of time to understand the stability in matrix perspective. Friends, you would see my lecture contents and notes in this course. It is a very unique way because stability problems are always generally solved using second order differential equation methodologies. But here in this course content, you would notice that you have used a simple matrix method, stiffness method to solve a stability problem. And uh, using the MATLAB code given, you can easily find the Euler's failure load by giving the input. And we have developed the stability charts and curves, which are very, very difficult, friends. It's a very interesting area. We have taken a lot of pain. Thanks for my teachers who taught me advanced steel design in ID Delhi and helped me to learn this is a very interesting approach. I would say this is one of the unique approaches to handle a stability problem using stiffness method of analysis. We tried that and we are very successful. And I am sure that uh, at least the unit of stability would be very, very helpful and make the stability problem understanding very easy using MATLAB codes provided in this unit. I will agree and I will join. And thanks to Patil for mentioning disadvantage. Similarly, fire as an accidental load is a very increasing uh, catastrophic danger to industrial structures in the current scenario because of global warming and because of accidents which are happening of human error. So fire resistant design and fire load assimilations and analysis using fire loads are very interesting areas where we have touched upon this course content and I'm sure you would have benefited. Yeah. Others can also I mean, want to share. They can raise their hand and they can participate in the discussion. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Pradeep, go ahead. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, I just wanted to share my uh, feedback about this advanced steel design course. This course especially is very um, dear to me that's what i wanted to say uh, <laughs> this is being an enlightening journey for me sir so as the name itself suggests it is advanced concept of uh, steel structures uh, i as uh, patil has already mentioned the advancements in terms of uh, all the basic concepts when we start to uh, uh, do the steel design we blindly follow this design uh, provisions and uh, codal practices, etc., without knowing what makes it all. But after taking this course, uh, learning all the concepts, and I uh, have, I can confidently say that uh, I okay, I have a hold of uh, what steel design is now. And one of this uh, uh, very interesting aspects is the focus on stability analysis. As you have mentioned, sir, stability analysis is one untouched area. Uh, we, even when we were studying our uh, postgraduate level course, we were never uh, even uh, taught, uh, even said the word stability. Stability is prohibited, <laughs> that is what I can say. But uh, the, the approach you have taken, especially that matrix approach, is very, very convenient for us that completely uh, it is a new aspect of uh, approaching stability. It is very easy for us. We can visually see what is happening there. And use of MATLAB, again, sir, I, I cannot emphasize on use of MATLAB enough, but MATLAB has made all our lives very easy and simple in this aspect. Because when we were calculating all those uh, 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 constants, the solution, when it comes to stability, MATLAB has uh, helped us to a greater extent. And uh, other important topics which I wanted to mention is fire 
blast impact ice loads all those so when i was doing my post graduate sir uh, there was uh, there was a time when i i was thinking about blast loads okay what it would be how a uh, good how nice it would be if i am there to learn what is blast load what is fire load and all and when i was taking this course it was like a dream come true for me <laughs> so blast loads is very very rare again uh, all the other topics as well like um, we have uh, taught unsymmetric bending in this course and um, uh, shear center all all the important topics and uh, lateral torsional buckling is very very complicated yet very commonly seen in all the steel structures and industrial structures uh, which we are into offshore structures so we have to clearly know what is lateral torsional buckling so all the topics whichever i wanted to say in this uh, course as the name itself everything covered in this is uh, the topics are all very advanced level but the approach is start from the basics and go to an advanced level and make a seamless manner of learning so that is what is very um, admirable in this course sir. and uh, since i am doing my research in fire load fire as a component fire as a load and fire prevention fire protection fire itself has a different facets and i have gained a lot of insights from this advanced steel design course so fire load the classification how we have to approach the fire when we are uh, about to design a structure so it is not a load it is not like a dead load live load it, it will not uh, be acting on the structure but it is there we have to calculate and we have to prevent mitigate and see the risk when it comes to fire so fire and blast all those impact accidental loads which you have covered in this uh, course it has been fantastic sir it's been an eye opener for me and i really liked the way you you progressed step by step from basic to advanced levels uh, whereby you ensured that that learning experience is very simple and i would suggest anyone uh, uh, to take this course as a resource it is so it's a like it's like valuable resource for anyone interested in uh, design of steel structures that's all thank you thank you pratibha uh, mr advait yes please go ahead hi sir i, I would just like to add few things i took this course previous semester uh, and like i was able to learn valuable insights on crucial topics like plastic design failure theories especially curved beams and and like every like you mentioned structural stability it's like a very unique topic in this course and like for someone who has previously completed a basic steel design in under graduation like this course enhanced my understanding like how design codes are like structured like how factor of safety is included in that formulas like we never understood while using those codes we just used to solve some problem but i was able to understand after do, going through this course so just this uh, small feedback from my side undoubtedly sir this course has to be an important from a uh, post graduation who is like who is interested in research as well as industry industry perspective someone who is interested he should not miss this course like i will encourage everyone to give it a try like it's like really interesting how we are using literature as well as uh, technology like matlab codes and in, infusing in one course like it will be very useful for them that's what i would like to tell them from my experience thank you sir thank you advai that is a very uh, sincere and very interesting feedback yes muttu please go ahead good evening sir this advanced design of steel structure course content is very comprehensive and it is designed in an elaborate manner sir thanks to this advanced level of course sir. especially in that uh, asymmetrical bending curved beam crane hook and then ltp topics that uh, lateral transfer lateral torsional buckling topics are very innovative and then very new new ideas sir. now i feel more confident in tackling complex steel structure problems design and analysis part sir it helped me to enhance my analysis knowledge Uh, and then especially for how to design the steel, steel beams and the columns with uh, with idea of indian codes and the euro codes all codes are elaborately discussed in our course sir. this course are further covered with 
various uh, topics of our form dominant design, different failure theories, all failure, the five failure theories, MGM and then other material part, and then design method, plastic design, uh, different dead load, live load combination, and then habitable affective structure, especially for uh, FGM and the steel, habitable behave like that, uh, uh, different kind of buckling, and then stability part, uh, everything discussed thoroughly in this, in our course. Especially for stability charts are, are prepared through MATLAB are very interesting. And then we can easily identify the uh, stability parameters through MAT, MATLAB codes. Advanced steel design of structures and advanced marine structure books are very helpful to get the all the MATLAB codes and then uh, solve the problems in the simple manner uh, to com convert the complicated problem into uh, simple uh, pro problems with the help of programs is very interesting and then very Easy, easy for all the students and the scholars, sir. This course is very fascinating and it is very useful for me, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Smith. Uh, that was uh, good. And I want to mention a very important aspect at this point to all the listeners and participants. Those who are uh, progressing with their post graduation and aiming to do PhD or postdoctoral research, either in India or in abroad. You would notice that most of the universities in developed countries like US and UK, etc., Germany, etc., they are looking forward for students who have done a course on advanced steel. They look into mark sheets, credit sheets, and say, Have you done any course on steel structures in advanced level? They definitely demand this. When you, they see a great card filled up with advanced steel design topic and with a good grade obtained in that, that fetches you an edge in getting an admission to a doctoral as well as postdoctoral positions in India and abroad. For a simple reason, most of the developed countries use steel as a very common construction material for very large spanned structures in industries as well as in uh, other systems. So the advanced steel design knowledge, though not applied to that level in this course content, will definitely make you to think at least uh, with confidently how to apply this on a future research in your postdoctoral or in your research level of PhD. So this course will or can be considered as a mandatory course for people who aspire to do PhD from developed countries or joining postdoctoral or joining industries who do challenging consultancies, both in India as well as in abroad. So this course will be, as people also observe, I also strongly suggest you, is, is a design manual for you. It's not a course content, it's a reference for you, which you will be using it throughout your life. So we have carefully designed the contents of the course so that it can help you to learn the basics. And as far as the steel design book is concerned, I should always thank the publishers as well as my uh, teachers and colleagues, Professor Arvind Jain, Mohammad Mubarak, and uh, Nawaz Sherif I mean, from uh, University of Petronas, Malaysia, who have been helping me in framing the content and also co-authoring the book with me in contributing to a larger extent. Similarly, comparing using steel as a material for wave energy designs, designs developed systems, and Faisal Khan and the other colleague in Australia, uh, um, Abbasi, will also and have also helped me in developing the course contents for the book where steel is used for novel construction systems, especially for wave energy devices, design and development. So advanced design of steel structures is a very important segment of learning apart from uh, fascinating to understand behavior of steel as a construction material. Yeah, please go ahead. I mean, others who wanted to say, they can raise their hand and go continue. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Yes, then I will go ahead. Yes. Uh, uh, advanced steel design structures uh, that course content is proved that the advancement in materials and some other special topics is used in the uh, construction industries. Uh, the 
material spot I, i'll talk about that that material spots modes is it's motivates me to choose that advancement in materials like i'm i'm currently working in the functionally graded materials this course is uh, motivate me to choose the topic now i'm just going in the deeper into deeper uh, new material combinations like working in that fga materials uh, and next to uh, lateral torsional bucklings and yielding that criteria i was theoretically studied in the classrooms uh, because in this course but now practically i am testing in the same in the structural lab laboratory i'm we, uh, physically visualize that how the buckling will happen how that torsion will happen all those things this course very helpful in my research also and third part is the unsymmetrical bending and curved beams and special topics like um, impact loads and blast loads that turns also uh, in future i am also eagerly working on that topic sir because of this course only motivate me to do this works in, in in part of my research work so especially thanks to professor to uh, to encourage to attend that course that is a very valuable things in my life sir and uh, 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 apart from that uh, the problem solving techniques uh, every problem minimum take 15 to 30 minutes in the classroom boards but professor create a matlab codes to minim to minimize the times within a five five one minutes or two minutes within a five, less than five minutes we can solve all the complicated and the pra practical problems especially in the curved beams i saw that curved beams with uh, uh, large initial curvature and uh, small initial curvature that industrial delegates most of them telling that how it will be possible to solve within uh, our we we'll take more time to solve this but in this course content with with uh, uh, minimize that uh, designs and that philosophies within a stipulated time and and uh, this course is very useful to further in the future generation of peoples they'll take the reference of this course further will improve that uh, still uh, construction knowledges and new material knowledges and the special loads like a uh, fire blast and impacts so i th thank you very much sir and the course is very wonderful don't miss that opportunity to attend this course try, try to learn as much as possible and keep uh, learning this course through the nptel that is the only suggestion and va valuable comments i want to give that sir thank you sanam that's fine and uh, that was a sincere <laughs> appeal you made and yes uh, as you said fgm functional graded material is <clears throat> very advanced level of application and steel is one of the alloying component in fgm and uh, professor murugayan department of metallurgy helps me in understanding fgm to a larger extent i should thank personally to him and uh, enabling me to also join him in learning fgm as a constant material for construction and fgm has got very interesting applications on corrosion resistance strength especially when you talk about deep web beams with copings at the ends for shear connections fgm has a very inevitable role to play it's got a very interesting substitute alternate for steel structures so this was partially told uh, in the class during the teaching of uh, advanced steel design but of course this course would definitely lead to make people to think while to learn fgm when when i was about 15 years back doing my post doctoral uh, i was introduced to fgm concept then at that time when i thought that fgm would be just like a material like steel or concrete when i started learning and understanding and realizing fgm use in common walks of life you would see now i have got uh, a visit made day for yesterday to the ducati ducati and ferrari ferrari cars are uh, famous brands of italy i visited uh, ferrari manufacturing automobile industry day for yesterday officially also ducati ducati is the fastest motorcycle which italy manufactures you would be knowing that and they use carbon fibers and fgms for the alloyed wheels in ferrari so corrosion that you will see ferrari wheels uh, even under cluster of mud and water and uh, this thing they won't get corroded at all the shining of the uh, wheel will remain as it is so they are using fgm because of the light weight and corrosion resistance and shining they are using fgm wheels so it's uh, i mean the the uh, the chassis the bottom chassis of a ferrari is a functionally graded composite fiber which is of carbon graphite 
I mean, it has no corrosion at all, no effect of any uh, penetration. It's a very, very thin, but very, very hard metal. So they, you know, I was fascinated to see, and especially when you talk about uh, the automobile industry's advancements in material, they have got wonderful advantage and very superior advancements. So, you know, this course, therefore, does not restrict only structural engineers to learn this. More towards mechanical, metallurgical, automobile will also be fascinated to learn this course. So, my appeal through this to all those friends will be to advocate this to other branches of engineering, including uh, aerospace, automobile, mechanical, production technology, metallurgy, etc., to see how best we can make use of this. Now, biomimics is a very interesting area of applied design using artificial intelligence, especially in underwater uh, mining exploration. Biomimics are playing a very important role using artificial intelligence. Biomimics geometry are mostly formulated using lightweight material. So steel still plays a very important role with alloying it with different materials as composites. And FGM also plays a role there. Therefore, there are many areas where FGM and steel plays a very important role. Yeah. Uh, other friends who want to do, I think Selvaraj, yes, please go ahead, Mr. Selvaraj. Yeah. Hello, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, is it audible to you? Yes, Hello? I am. You are audible. Uh, uh, very good. Very good evening uh, to you, sir. Uh, uh, it's a very fascinating course uh, for me, actually. Uh, uh, advanced uh, steel structure, as uh, advanced design of steel structures, uh, this course um, giving a lot of insights to me because uh, I just started a career as offshore structural engineer. So from the basics, I learned from the loadings, geometry forms, and symmetrical bending. Uh, from one by one, I am getting a lot of insights from this course. Uh, it's a really a uh, fascinating course, uh, sir. One more thing, uh, kindly, uh, I will suggest my colleagues also in that upcoming uh, uh, semesters. Uh, I mean, upcoming uh, course. So kindly uh, offer this course in that upcoming semester also. So my colleagues also will, uh, I mean, learn a lot of things from this. So one more thing, sir, here, uh, MATLAB uh, course, what I learned here is it's very uh, interesting one, uh, very tedious problems. Also, we can uh, solve it from that course, what we are giving uh, in that input. So it is really interesting um, from that course I learned, sir. So it is very helped me uh, to learn various uh, new offshore structures related uh, uh, topics uh, like lateral torsional bucklings as well as and symmetrical bending and also a crane hook sir it's also we are uh, using uh, a i am working in a top side module sir so that crane hooks and all uh, while uh, i'll using that matlab uh, codes we can solve easily so that is very much interesting and uh, in nowhere uh, we are uh, working with matlabs so i am suggesting with my colleagues as well as my um, uh, team leads regarding the MATLAB codes and use of these uh, uh, MATLAB codes in our uh, practical applications. So they are very much uh, um, interesting to learn also, sir. So thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, conducting this course, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, thank you, Mr. That's very interesting uh, feedback you are given, especially for industrial participants, more valuable for us. It's an input for me also to learn how I can interact and uh, sharing with uh, you, uh, I am proud to say that uh, I am one of the uh, one of the most preferred uh, resource person to train uh, the leading industrial consultancy companies in the country. And also I am now doing it, extending it for a very famous uh, European Union project, Erasmus Mundus project on CES, yes, CES. 4.0, which is about in Indian money worth of 250 crores project. I am a part of that investigation now in Italy currently. I am an investigator in the course, which also handles steel as a construction material. And I am also a part of this float con project, which is floated and approved by European Union by uh, five schools of engineering. The leading school is in London. So I am a principal investigator parallelly along with my colleague in uh, University College London, which is again a 200 crores project 
of European Union, where all these concepts of industrial consultancy and learning helps me to participate and also bring it back to the classrooms. So all these examples, what we learned through consultancy will be brought back. That's our mission in NPTEL. Our director, Professor Kamakoti, insists that the knowledge should be transferred down the line for enabling the capacity building for the students and learners. That is the success of a good teacher. So we are trying to do that and we are strengthening the hands of Professor Kamakoti in this mission achieved. And we are thankful to the Ministry of Education um, for helping uh, Yenpital to be very proactive in doing the service. And as Mr. Salura said, I'm also appealing to Yenpital that this course should be offered rather every semester so that it attracts the maximum number of participants every semester to enable learning at their own peace and pace. Okay, sure. uh, anybody else? Uh, Ms. Silva, you can lower your hand if you do not want to say anything further. Otherwise, if you want to say something, you can please go ahead. No, sir. No, sir. It's... Yeah. Uh, anybody else who wants to share his thoughts? Good, good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Ajaya. Yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so, um, actually, I... Uh, uh, learn that uh, basic uh, steel structure, uh, but uh, in that uh, course, uh, I did not uh, find means uh, much more application as a, a current scenario. So I think uh, this course, this advanced design of steel structure, give a insight or give a vision uh, for this uh, uh, application point of view, whatever the previously all the student uh, said, just I listened to them, that uh, here we can uh, uh, see that all the industry and uh, all over the consultancy, all over the developed country, they use uh, this uh, steel material uh, with the little, uh, different modification purpose, like uh, some are anti-corrosion and some are it make, make to them lightweight and some are make to them uh, uh, aesthetically uh, good, pleasant view, and it has a wide ra wide range application. But if he, I think this is a uh, part the sir uh, offer this course in very uh, means uh, approachable way and simple way, and uh, as the other students said that. Uh, the problem solved uh, generally in steel structure, it, it took so much time and time consuming. You have to follow all the codes and uh, all the regulation and each one and every steps you have to go through. Then only the proper solution you can end up. But if we use this MATLAB approach, we can within one, uh, two minutes or uh, maximum five minutes, we can get the desired result with great accuracy and without much difficulty. So I think in this course, we will, it will be very helpful uh, to whoever to, uh, means very eagerness to learn this and have a, uh, as I told that who are desirous to, um, means do pursue um, post uh, PhD and postdoc uh, in that still or any uh, related field, then it, this course is a kind of a gateway uh, and it will help a lot. So in that sense, I will suggest all of you, all the friends and all the colleagues who are um, yeah, have a inner desire, uh, desire to pursue this kind of uh, project and whatever this kind of uh, postdoc and PhD in the future, they must take up this kind of course. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ajay. So, uh, last word to add, if you look at, uh, if you revisit the unit on lateral torsional buckling, I am confident that you would have listened how the term lateral torsional buckling comes into play in existence. So, I must thank my colleague, uh, Dr. Lakshmi Priya from Civil Department, IIT Madras, Professor CVR Murthy from IIT Madras, and Professor Arvind Kumar Jain from IIT Delhi. Professor Nasir Shafiq from uh, University of Petronas, Malaysia, who have contributed to the value addition, and Professor Gaurav from IIT Gandhi Nagar, who have helped me to bring out this concept in a nice manner. So, how lateral 
how torsional and why it initiates buckling and in that equation how these components are independently playing a role i have tried to explain this with figures as well as with my book explains this much more in detail so that's a good area you can revisit that back again that's one strength of this course the second strength of this course for sure is the approach of stability problem using stiffness method using matlab it's a very unique approach friends i am telling you ai was taught stability analysis you will make stability learnings comfortable and simple i i you will never forget this method to teach in in your classrooms so please do advocate this advantages to your friends to your co researchers to your students to your industrial consultants and office colleagues and uh, let us jointly do a capacity building and make india much stronger as strong as steel so that um, we can build a very good nation as vision by our honorable prime minister uh, in the coming future so i must finally thank uh, the impetel team who have been working consistently in holidays and non working days to bring this course in a such a smooth manner so i personally thank a uh, professor uh, chairman center for continuing education or the co what we call professor jerry hall then uh, his team completely for making this hassle free uh, enabling of impetel videos for the students and participants and uh, i am very thankful to all my colleagues in the department of ocean energy who has also participated valuable advice and suggestions throughout my tenure of walk of life in this department which helped me to reinvent my thinking and teaching process so i must thank nalayar so professor murli professor nasiraj professor panit selvam professor rajiv who have been always supportive and who have been always helping me and stimulating my thinking process consistently on a good faith and on a good note that uh, and i finally thank our honorable director professor kamakoti and the former director professor baskar ramamurthy for extending confidence in me that i can also offer this course in impetel and i wish and i appeal to the impetel board that this course should be offered uh, consistently many number of cycles in future so many people are yet to get benefited from this course and i am also advocating this course in all international universities in abroad wherever i am sitting i am also taking a course on advanced steel design now physically in italy where this course is used as a reference material you will be proud to know that impetel is referred as a text material now in leading universities in europe so thank you all for joining me at this moment and uh, let us continue to do a good job in future and thanks for your feedback and try to spread a good word of mouth amongst your friends and helping me in doing this and promoting a good academic environment in india as well as in abroad with the international culture thank you very much namaste jai hind magesh we can close it out thank you sir thank you silver mr thank magesh you. can close it out Mr. Magesh, are you still connected? Mr. Magesh, Mr. Magesh, are you still connected? I think uh, I don't know what should we do. Mr Mahesh we have completed the formal discussion for this course can we close the live stream please
Uh, Mahesh, we have closed close the meeting. Can you please uh, exit? Mr. Mahesh, can you please close the live stream? Close the meeting. Can you please exit? Mr. Mahesh? Yep, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, I will end the session, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you.